Hey dreamers, how are you? So today uh, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I've been asked in the past before to do um, like a sort of uh, game shop uh, kind of store clerk role play uh, where I, you know, kind of uh, sell you video games or movies or things like that. Uh, but I figured why not just go through like uh, a giant bin full of some of the movies and video games that I've uh, collected over the years. Um, this is a bin that I've uh, had with me for years and years and years. Uh, I've got movies from uh, South Korea when I was deployed there in the military. Um, video games that I've just uh, acquired over the years. I think I have some system, like game systems in there, a little uh, PlayStation Portable. Uh, so yeah, I... Uh, I hope you enjoy. I'm also testing out some new microphones. Uh, I, I'm running a four microphone setup right now. So I've got two microphones here and here, and then two down here that you cannot see. Um, and of course the placement will change depending on every video, but uh, yeah, <laughs> let's get into this. Um, so here's one that uh, some of you may recognize uh, well, may maybe, um, but this is uh, Full Metal Alchemist, the Conqueror of Shambhala. Um, I had uh, I had put this movie on during one of my uh, previous videos. It was a head scratching video that uh, um, you know had like a movie playing in the background. It was a uh, quite a popular video, <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a really really great movie. Uh, next here we have uh, a movie called Constantine, one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, I just love everything, everything, everything about this movie. Um, I know a lot of people uh, don't quite like uh, Keanu Reeves as Constantine. Uh, they're kind of used to the uh, comic book version of Constantine. Um, I know they came out with a... Uh, uh, a series uh, called Constantine um, that had a character that kind of visually looked more like the characters from the comic book but um, I'm a huge fan of Keanu Reeves and uh, yeah just this movie is absolutely amazing <laughs> one of my favorites for sure let's see what else do we have here we've got um, a signed copy of Madden uh, 2014 I guess um, and I had gotten this copy from one of the guys that actually worked on the game. Um, I go to a school called Full Sail, and uh, they often have uh, um, events where they invite uh, previous students who are, you know, out working in the industry uh, to come, you know, give uh, like um, uh, like a presentation, basically showing like what they do in the industry. Uh, and, and they give like little demos and, and you know we get to ask them questions about like how they do certain things and et cetera et cetera uh, and so they were giving away like uh, little gift bags for anyone who uh, showed up and uh, yeah uh, it was just a signed copy of that I remember at the time I didn't have an Xbox one so I was like well you know maybe one day when I eventually get one um, I'll be able to actually play it uh, I never did actually end up um, playing it though because I do have an Xbox one now but uh yeah, there's that one. Ooh, yes. Uh, so here is a uh, lovely tin. It's uh, a combination tin. It's the, uh, a mix of the Dragon Ball Z movies, The History of Trunks, and Bardock, the father of Goku. Uh, these are both two fantastic Dragon Ball Z movies, uh, and I would recommend anyone to go see them if they haven't already. The, uh, the little plastic thing that holds it is a little broken. But yeah, some of the uh, the discs have like different characters on it. Um, and it comes in looking like that. But yeah, these are uh, two fantastic, fantastic movies. I think I might uh, hold this off to the side so I can watch it later. <laughs> it's like this really nice kind of metallic tin box hmm. 
you guys feel that closer to your ear? <laughs> Let's see, what do we have here? Uh, sticking with the theme of Dragon Ball Z, we have a video game called Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit. Uh, this was a game for um, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, I believe. And uh, this was a really cool um, take on the Dragon Ball Z video games. Um, the uh, graphical fidelity of this game was phenomenal. And it actually really, uh, it still holds up to today. Uh, like today's graphics. Um, I was never really a fan of the uh, Tenkaichi series. Uh, as far as like the fighting style. Uh, I was more of a one of the fans of uh, Budokai, like Budokai 3, uh, Budokai 2, Budokai 1, of course. Um, but yeah, Budokai 3 was oh, so amazing. Uh, but yeah, when this came out, this was more along the lines of the Budokai series rather than uh, the Tenkaichi series, uh, as far as like, you know, fighting style. And uh, yeah, so good. So, so good. Mm, I guess we can pull this one, because sticking with anime... We've got uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. Um, the Ultimate Ninja Storm series is just phenomenal. So, so good. Um, it's it's not without its uh, uh, complaints or, or, you know, like gripes with the video game itself, you know, balance issues, um, certain things with uh, certain characters just, you know, obviously being overpowered. Uh, and you know certain fighting mechanics kind of getting taken out or put back in um, but the the storm series has been a, a pretty consistent series um, and I, I've quite enjoyed it uh, I've bought almost every single one in the uh, the numbered series so the first one second third and I do have the fourth as well uh, currently playing that right now on PlayStation um, oh yes we have uncharted 3 right here Trying to not get that glare. <laughs> um, but yeah, Uncharted 3, oh, fantastic game. Fantastic. I mean, and again, just the series in general. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Amazing storytelling, amazing graphics. Uh, the controls are, are on point um, for this style of game. Um, if you've never played the Uncharted series and you get a chance to you know get one of these games like uh, on sale or something like that, uh, definitely pick it up if you can uh, and, and give it a shot because I, I think you know if, if you're into storytelling and single player um, games, you'll you'll definitely enjoy this one for sure. Mm, oh my goodness. Here's another fantastic game that I cannot wait for the sequel. Um, Red Dead Redemption. And this is actually a sequel to the ori original Red Dead. Uh, but the sequel to this one, uh, the next Red Dead, I cannot wait for that to come out. Because this game, so just amazing. Um, you play as a, a character called uh, John Marston. And uh, it's just a, a, a video game set in the wild, wild west. It's uh, kind of, you know, Grand, the Grand Theft Auto in the wild, wild west, if you want to kind of call it that. It's made by the same um, company, Rockstar. And uh, I think they just basically took everything that they learned in Grand Theft Auto up to that point and threw it into this game, gave it an awesome atmosphere, great graphics, uh, great mechanics, you know, as far as like using the lasso, uh, the, the horse physics in the game are amazing. Um, you know, just being able to uh, get on your horse and lasso somebody and then ride off with them, you know, sliding behind you, so great. Um, yeah, this game is fantastic. And again, another one if that if you've never played, definitely give it a shot. I think you'll enjoy it. Let's see what else we have in here. So many things to choose from. Uh, I have a, uh, a giant tub <laughs> or tote or crate, if you want to call it that, uh, full of games and movies. Um, here's one. This is uh, Mass Effect 3. Uh, this is the collector's edition. Uh, again, another favorite game of mine. Um, it comes with uh, two kind of things in this package. Um, the actual game tin itself is amazing. It comes with uh, both versions of Commander Shepard, um, the female female Fem Shep, and uh, uh, male Shep. <laughs> uh, again, amazing game. Uh, do I want to open this? 
Which way does this open? Oh, there it goes. I'm always afraid to open these because then it's like going to explode everywhere. And that would be bad. Um, but yeah, you have the uh, two discs in there. Um, of course, the little manuals and stuff like that. But again, another um, fantastic tin. Gorgeous artwork, too. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Get back in there. Put that right there. All right. Oh, okay. So here's another uh, favorite franchise of mine. Halo. Oh, man. So I actually, uh, this is... Uh, not. It's relatively new, meaning that, like... I bought this uh, online recently from Amazon uh, so that I could um, play it uh, on my PC uh, without realizing that I could just buy the Master Chief collection and play them all in, you know, HD or whatever. Um, but still, I kind of wanted to have, like, you know, the original uh, Halo box and everything, um, you know, just for nostalgic sake, uh, just to have it. But, um, yeah, me and Halo go back uh, since the beginning. Uh, since the absolute beginning um when i first got my xbox and uh got halo with it uh those were some of my uh absolute favorite times as, as a kid uh just playing with my younger brother and uh just uh, such good memories such good memories of this game uh, i was actually uh playing um, the first one uh, of course the master chief collection um on twitch recently and uh yeah, had a lot of fun kind of, you know, reliving the first couple levels of that. Uh, but I definitely need to get back into that and finish that game. Or finish all the games, really. Uh, here we have... Oof, which one should I do first? <laughs> we have uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, I'm a huge fan of this movie. Uh, I know Star Wars fans are kind of torn uh, with this movie. You know, with the new kind of reboot of Star Wars. Uh, sequel, but kind of a reboot at the same time. Um, but I, I love this movie, everything about it, you know, it's, uh, as much as it is a, a remake of, you know, episode three, or episode four, I'm sorry, uh, it, it's still, ah, just something about it is amazing, I don't know, I'm a fan, huge fan of Kylo Ren, Kylo's a beast, uh, and I, I really can't wait till uh, the end of this year when the new Star Wars comes out, uh, super excited for, you know, whatever trailer that they drop, uh, hopefully, within the next couple of weeks or months, hopefully. Um, here we have Demon Souls uh, for PlayStation. If you notice, I don't know if you could see that, but um, the, the box art is in Korean. Uh, this is one of the games that I got while I was out in South Korea. And uh, yeah, I think I was at one of the game shops out there and I saw it and I was like, oh, this looks really cool. You know, I've heard everyone kind of talk about it. It's like a su super challenging game. And uh, lo and behold, it was in fact super challenging. Um, I I didn't beat this game. <laughs> this is one of those games that I just did not beat at all. Um, I did beat the uh, Dark Souls Three, which is an amazing game, fantastic. I love that game. I still need to play the DLC for it, but this one right here, no. <laughs> when I played it at the time, I I never. Uh, I never got past anything because I just, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just running around getting owned by monsters. Um, this movie right here, Bram Stoker's Way of the Vampire, the Blockbuster sticker on it. I don't know if you guys have ever had a Blockbuster um, uh, or no, even know what that is, but uh, Blockbuster uh, was like a, a, a video slash uh, a video game rental store. And, uh, you know, you basically just go to the store. You can uh, rent a game or a movie for, like, five bucks or something like that. And then, uh, you know, you'd have to return it in, like, a week or something. I think it was a week. I can't remember. But, you know, with digital downloads and stuff like that and digital renting, uh, those kind of stores died out, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, there's something super nostalgic about, um, you know, walking into the store and smelling the smell of... Well, sometimes it smelled like feet and like little and little kids running around. Um, but you know, there's just something 
neat about walking into the store and, and browsing around for, you know, a new movie or a new game and uh, being able to, you know, look at the box art and, and read about it and just, I don't know. There's just something nice about, you know, uh, hold, physically holding something uh, that makes things a thousand times better, you know. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? We have Fable, The Lost Chapters. Another amazing game, if you've never had the chance to play. I, um... I love this game. <laughs> I really do. This is, uh, a, a game that I could play and play and play, uh just like Skyrim it's it's not like Skyrim but like as far as like my ability to just play it non-stop um it's just like Skyrim I, I freaking love this game um I haven't touched it in years of course and it's actually quite dusty um but yeah Fable so good it's so so good we have a uh, Final Fantasy 14 uh right there and uh this was a game that I I Still, um, actually, this is the original Final Fantasy XIV. Um, before the uh, the the remake, because what happened with Final Fantasy XIV, if I can remember correctly, was that like they came out with this version, and it was either super challenging or super broken, super buggy, super whatever that um, not many people played it, and so what the developers did was they uh, came out with they, they basically relaunched the game uh, under a, div a different name. Uh, I think it's uh, 14 of Realm Reborn, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is the, the box for the original version of Final Fantasy XIV, the one that doesn't exist anymore, <laughs> technically. Um, here we have a movie called uh, The Unborn. I don't... I don't remember this movie. I don't really know why I picked it up. But I'm guessing it's a horror movie. It says, Enter a world of unrelenting evil as terror finds a new form in the unborn. From, produ from the producers of the te Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the co-writer of the Dark Knight comic, or the Dark Knight, comes this shocking supernatural thriller about a young woman plagued by chilling dreams and, a tor and tortured by a demonic ghost that haunts her waking hours. Her only hope to break the debilitating paranormal curse is in an exorcism with spiritual advisor Sendak weird name uh, see what lies behind the doorway of our world in this non-stop nightmare of the undead interesting hmm. yep nope never saw it <laughs> um, oh this is a great little anime series called cyborg 009 um, one of my favorite things about this series is uh, the animation style it's got this like old school kind of like um, robot boy uh, animated style. It's so incredible. Um, but if you get the chance to check out Cyborg 009, um, please do. It's it's actually really really cool. Um, it's about these like uh, these uh, cyborgs, um, this like team of cyborgs that like goes around and uh, saves the world basically. <laughs> but really really cool characters and uh, yeah, really really cool. Uh, let's see. Let's just grab randomly. Let's see, we have um, Underworld: Rise of the Lycans. Uh, I really like this Underworld movie. I'm I'm a fan of the Underworld movies in general. I haven't seen the new one, by the way. I need to see that. Um, but yeah, I, I actually really enjoyed this one because it kind of brought it to the past, uh, to um, you know, kind of where like Lucius came from. Uh, or Lucian, is it Lucius or Lucian? Uh, Lucian, there you go. That was Lucius. Lucian, uh, the uh, werewolf dude, uh, the lichen dude from the first or, well, first movie. Um, it's kind of like his origins and how you know everything's everyone's tangled together in this like crazy love story. Uh, fantastic movie, I thought. I don't know again because I personally enjoy those movies. I know a lot of people don't really. Um, like them you know that's kind of a a cringe fest uh for some people <laughs> you know uh, oh here's a cool movie uh jumper jumper is a really neat neat movie 
Uh, I've actually been meaning to uh, watch this again, uh, just because, you know, the, the effects and stuff and the superpowers is um, something that I enjoy watching in a movie. Um, as, you know, cringy as, of a movie as it may be. Uh, let's see, we've got the um, HBO 2 DVD set of True Blood. <laughs> again, this is one of the, uh, the movies that I got either in Korea or in the Middle East when I was out there. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they do this anymore, but uh, I, I know that uh, uh, when I was deployed, they would have these like little, um, they would invite like locals from out, you know, out in the Middle East, wherever we were deployed to, and they would uh, have them set up like little markets on base. And basically you can buy like different trinkets and things and whatever. And they would have different shops that had, you know, movies that you could buy, you know, five, you know, buy five or 10 movies for five bucks or something like that. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, we would often get like, you know, movies that were shown, you know, back in America, but out there in the Middle East that, you know, normally we couldn't get it, but you know, <laughs> they, they acquired the movies uh, and we were able to purchase them so that we could watch them ourselves. Um, this is the Transporter 3. It's probably one of my favorites out of all the Transporters. First one was really good, but uh, I definitely enjoyed this one as well. Uh, the fight scenes, of course, are absolutely amazing in that movie. Um, what else do we have here? We've got Halo 3. Halo 3. Probably one of my favorite Halo games uh, out of all of them, next to uh, Halo Reach. Reach was probably my number one favorite. Um, again, an opinion not shared by many, uh, but that's just that's just me. <laughs> uh, we've got Fallout Three for uh, PC, um, Star Wars: The Old Republic for PC. This is a fun game. Uh, Killzone Two for PlayStation, PlayStation 3. Uh, this was a fun game. I, I enjoyed the Killzone series just because like they had, um, it just had really good graphics, you know, for like what it was. Uh, all right, let me pull this one out. Um, so uh, this, this freaking movie right here, this movie is called Tech on Concrete. And uh, those of you that have been following me for some time um, have probably heard me talk about this movie before. And uh, please, whatever you're doing, you need to see this movie. Like it, this, uh, I, I can't, I can't express my love for this anime movie enough. Um, it started off as a manga, and then uh, it was uh, adapted into this uh, animated movie which spawned a, a, another kind of a giant, giant uh, book, another manga. It was like a giant one um, that was based off of this animated film, um, or kind of a mixture between the original manga and the uh, animated film as well. Um, but I love this movie so much that I actually got a tattoo of the characters uh, right here, and you, can, uh, you obviously can't see that up close, but um, I think I have a picture of it on my Instagram, uh, if you do want to see it there. Uh, but yeah, I um, I adore this movie so much. The animation style, the story, the characters, the music, just the, the combination of it all is just so fantastic. So if you ever get a chance, go watch this. Forget everything else that I've said to go watch. Watch this first. <laughs> Tech on Concrete. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I bought this on Blu-ray. I bought it on... Uh, for PS for PSP, I bought it uh, the digital version on uh, iTunes. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, so here we have uh, a PlayStation Portable in uh, this fancy schmancy uh, case. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this case is highly damaged. Uh, but that just means that it was doing its job, <laughs> of course. But yeah, I have two PSPs here. Oh gosh, battery's popping out of there. Yeah, I've got two PSPs here. I probably have a third somewhere. 
don't ask me why I own 50 PSPs. I have no idea. I think, um, I think at one point I had owned one. And then, again, this was in the military. I, I deployed and I forgot to bring it with me. And I was so bored that I was like, I need to buy another one. So I bought another one and had it uh, shipped out to wherever I was at. And, um, and I think I have a third one as well that I handed down to like a, one of my younger brothers. Because uh, there was there were multiple iterations of the PSP that came out. Um, and I think these are the newer version. Perhaps. I don't know. I think there's some difference in the in the hardware, I believe. But yeah, this this game system I adored, and I still adore to this day, and I'm glad that I kind of pulled that out, because now I can uh, continue playing some of the games that I had for this. Uh, there was a fantastic Dragon Ball Z fighting game uh, for this that uh, I I would play religiously. And what was great about this was that like you could hack it, like most kind of uh, handheld systems, right? Um, you could hack it to where you could put like your own custom themes, you know, backgrounds, startup music. Um, and obviously, you can, you know, kind of do like emulated games and stuff like that. Um, such a fantastic little system here. I, I never picked up the, um, the, what was it called? PlayStation Go? Or PS Go or something like that? Um, the, it was basically the, the next generation of this. Uh, I never picked that one up. Uh, I guess, you know, it was able to play, like, PlayStation 3, you know, visual quality games. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't pick that one up. I think I was just kind of done with handhelds for the most part at the time because uh, at some point I just stopped playing handhelds. I didn't really... Um, uh, I don't really, like, play them anymore. I was just, you know, kind of busy doing other things, right? Uh, so, yeah, that... Uh, that's pretty much it. I have a billion other movies and stuff in here that I could probably go through. Um, I've got like headphones in here. Uh, what else do I have here? I have like a, it's a little uh, Game Boy Advance game. It's a Dragon Ball Z. Obviously I'm a fan of Dragon Ball Z. I have Dragon Ball Z everything. <laughs> this is the Legacy of Goku, little Game Boy Advance game. So some of you that may have had this will recognize it. Um, also I have in here, I have uh, Assassin's Creed Bloodlines uh, for PlayStation Portable. Uh, a bunch of other Dragon Ball Z movies. This is the uh, Broly Triple Threat movie, uh, where it comes with three uh, movies, three movies that featured Broly as a character. Um, anything interesting other than that? Oh, this is another great anime. It's called uh, Blue Submarine Number Six. Um, I would definitely recommend watching this as well. Uh, this is kind of an older anime that came out in 1999. Wow, that's old. Um, but yeah, Blue Sub Number Six. Uh, it was. I think I first saw this on Adult Swim. Uh, back in the day, it was either Adult Swim or car, you know car, uh, Cartoon Network. Um, like Toonami. Yeah, Toonami, not Cartoon I mean, Cartoon Network, Toonami, whatever. Same thing. Um, but yeah, I think that's where I first watched this. And uh, I was hooked. Like, I don't know, it's just something about the characters and, like, the story. Uh, and then just the visual, um, the visuals of this kind of movie was just absolutely awesome. I think it's just a movie. I don't, I don't think it's, like, a multiple episode. Maybe it is multiple episodes. It's got, like, three discs in here. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. What else do I have in here? Mm. We've got some more PlayStation Portal games. We've got Monster Hunter 2. Uh, they need to bring out Monster Hunter on PlayStation. Like, bad. Oh, this was the this was the Dragon Ball Z game. It's called Shin Budokai. It's super fun. Super, super fun. And then uh, we have Persona 3. This is a fun game too. I don't think I ever beat it though. Um, but yeah, really, really fun game. If I can remember correctly. <laughs> and then finally, we'll we'll end it off with some. We'll end it off with 
Oof, Hellboy. Hellboy 2 is a great movie. Um, I was a huge fan of the first one. And so naturally, when the second one came out, uh, I, I jumped on the chance to go watch it and uh, fell in love. <laughs> uh, the characters, the story, just um, the action scenes in this film were just mm, perfect. Great. I kind of want to rewatch this now, too. But uh, that's going to be that for today. Uh, a super long video for this one. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have a million more movies and stuff that I can go through. Uh, but I won't uh, bore you any further if you're not already asleep. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, other than that, I love you. I hope you take care. And as always.